Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, and we are on July 31st, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and everything affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking at a pretty quiet sun, small CME ejected from the outgoing position, mostly looking at some pretty large plasma filaments around each corners of the sun right now. We were pointing out this one in the last update. Not much has changed since then. Small bright region in the southern, which disappeared. Looking at outgoing imagery here, bright sunspot regions heading out and have fired off, I'm pretty sure, all that they can. Looks like in that last position was that CME. Thank you, everybody, for joining Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to all so that you don't miss an update. Having a look here at multi-spectrum, last 48 hours. And you can see in the southern region, right-hand side, that is where the CME fired off from. Not Earth-directed in an outgoing position. And we do we did have that small coronal hole, that black spot, equatorial Earth-facing coronal hole, but has since disappeared. Looking at a real-time solar wind right now, we're getting calmer, uh, sitting at 416 kilometers per second after being elevated to over 500 kilometers per second for about a day or so. And looking at solar flux remains low and as well a geomagnetic activity for august 1st looking at lasco 2 and 3 you can see the small EME, cme ejection bottom right hand side of the disc also looking at the planet in the background which i believe is venus venus or mercury one of the two Looking at the annual spiral, and you can see small CME ejected right at stereo B. And that's about it, though. No other major space weather events to talk about. Schumann resonance for today, a power of six. Pretty low power. Power of six and a quality of 6.9. Frequency max, 8.04. Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours across the planet. And North America is a rockin'. They did see a 5.5 here in San Carlos, Mexico, at a 10-kilometer depth. Gulf of California. And then just northeast of that, 5.2 in Mexico. Still seeing earthquakes into the border with Texas, Toya, and as well, Coyonosa. 5-kilometer depth there. So very active California up into Texas, Redlands, California, that's Los Angeles, East Los Angeles, seeing a 3.2 earthquake. And as well, California there, are 2.7, and notable, sizable 3.4 earthquake here, the geysers at a 3-kilometer depth. Seeing lots of activity, mostly at geysers today, and as well, the Gulf, California. No major swarms to talk about across the North American plate. Aftershocks continue through Alaska, through Chignyak, Alaska. And as well, a couple minor earthquakes in the Aleutian Islands here. 4.5, 3.8. And then leading right up into the North Pole here. 4.8 earthquake in Russia. 4.5 there in Zevernaya Zemla. North Greenland, and as well as Valbard seeing a 4.7 earthquake. So the North Pole seeing a lot of stress today in the last 24 hours for earthquakes. And it's spreading over into Greece. Mandrake, Greece seeing a 4.2 and as well a 4.7, 10 kilometer depth. And as well, Algeria reporting a 4.3 earthquake in the last 24 hours. 4.4 here to report in Dira, Pakistan. And as well, North Japan, 
seeing a 5.0 to 168 kilometer depth and as well a 4.7 Anon 40 kilometer depth South Japan quiet through Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, Philippines, Indonesia, way too quiet through this region. Heads up, everybody. We're waiting for a large, deep earthquake and as well a large, shallow quake. Based on this activity across the planet, this is what I am expecting. So heads up, everybody, around the world. The deepest earthquake this week was the 610-kilometer depth through Fiji. And there was just recently a 568-kilometer depth earthquake, but it's for some reason not being reported here. But it was reported on USGS through the live stream. Overlooking South American plate, Valparaiso, Chile, seeing a 5.1 at a 24-kilometer depth. And as well, Argentina, 4.5, 187-kilometer depth. Chile, northern Chile, and as well, Bolivia, Peru border. A couple minor shakers there. And northern Peru, 4.3 there. And that's where they had that sizable 6.2 earthquake reported last night. And I apologize, it did not get to the update. I passed out. I had a very long, tiring day. And yeah, I woke up to no stream and a 6.2 earthquake. So I apologize, my friends and family. Doing my best here, but very busy right now. Having a look at the last seven days across the planet... Our largest being the 8.2 in Alaska. And you can see it kind of seems like that 8.2 resonated across the planet. We're seeing activity in all plates right now, it seems. North Pole, South Pole, every continent feeling the rocking and rolling on our planet. And this, all this increased activity was expected and forecasted. As we are getting in now through August and September, a retrograde with Jupiter. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Ibu in Indonesia, Suisun and Ajima in Japan. Many, many fire alerts looking at 162 fire or active hazards. Sabancaya in Peru, Senge in Ecuador, Etna in Italy. Reventador, Nevados de Ruiz, Nevados de Chilean, Fuego in Guatemala, and as well, Nevados de Chilean, Colombia. Bagana, Papua New Guinea, has awakened, reawakened. It went quiet for a couple weeks. And as well, Sinabung, Indonesia, reported three days ago. So that's about nine volcanoes getting updated today. Look forward to the volcanic activity report coming tomorrow. Overlooking British Columbia, we still have a lot of fires that are breaking out across the province right now. Many new fires just yesterday. So heads up, friends and family across British Columbia. And as well, the world being affected by natural disasters. This is a horrible, horrible situation. Just looking at satellite imagery here, this is today. And we're just going to have a quick look here. Or sorry, no, this was yesterday. You can see about a dozen fires between northern Washington and up into BC there. Wow. Thick blanket of smoke across Alberta today. Gee, I wonder why. Massive fires across BC. And this is today. Overlooking today. And there are a couple new fires breaking out just there in the last few images. One pretty but big one there, Wenatchee Reserve, Washington. So stay safe, stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. And stay tuned to your local radio and TV stations for evacuation orders for your area. Just looking across the United States, just peppered with fire alerts, drought alerts, extreme heat alerts, and as well now flooding conditions through Utah, Arizona, and Colorado. Monsoon rains have continued now for about three or four days. Daily evaporation rains all across central, western United States. 
We also have two Tropical Storms to talk about, Tropical Storm Hilda, and as well, Tropical Depression number 9. Tropical Storm Hilda is Category 1 right now, and heading north-northeast at about 9 kilometers an hour, and there is another one just behind that in the long-range forecast. But it looks like they will be heading towards Hawaii, so heads up, my Hawaiian friends. As well, we have some fires that have broken out across Turkey. So heads up, my friends and family, Turkey, and as well, Lebanon, uh, Messina, Sicily, Italy, as well, looking at some wildfires that broke out, and as well, Tunisia. And then just north of them, they're dealing with flooding conditions, massive displacement of humanity across Europe after all these storms recently, and the rains continue. The rains continue. Five-day forecast. Let's see if you got any relief in it. Five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and, of course, daily events worldwide. And we're always going to start out here looking at home base Calgary, Alberta, Canada, as we do have some extreme heat that is moving into the province of Alberta over the next few days, but no rain in the forecast. Most of it stays in the foothills and then northward. And then pretty much getting sucked it, sucked up into the huge low-pressure system that is just north of Hudson Bay. Let's have a closer look here. You can see those monsoon rain, daily rains moving through uh, central western United States, Sierra Nevada, and northward. But most of the rain is tracking pretty far north. Big low pressure system there affecting that. Extreme heat conditions are going to be moving into the Gulf of California this week. Looking at temperatures on Tuesday, Wednesday, reaching up to 44 degrees. And as well, some extreme heat conditions through Oregon and Washington. And flooding over into Montana. So stay coolio, my friends and family across the world. Overlooking eastern Canada and the, the United States. Watch for this long wave of moisture to affect all of the eastern United States. The whole coastline of the Atlantic. Watch for one, two, three, four days of rain along the coastal regions of the United States this week. And daily rains through Florida. No tropical systems forming in the Gulf, thank God. Overlooking the Atlantic, strong high-pressure ridge, but it does look like there's a developing surface level underneath of that, right about there. So we could have something brewing in the long-range forecast. We'll see if anything changes in tomorrow's forecast. Overlooking Europe, another low-pressure system heading over the United Kingdom and down into Central Europe. So the original system affecting you now is going to be moving out by Tuesday and then another one coming in by Thursday. Overlooking Southeast Asia and West Indies. Got quite a developing situation over China yet again as all of these systems have now merged. We get a very big low. It's almost as if Tropical Storm Infa is still alive in there somewhere which would not surprise me. And it has kind of thwarted the tropical system that's just east of it from hitting Japan just yet, which is good because, I mean, they're dealing with the Olympics. Overlooking Pakistan and India, low pressure center here, most likely hanging around the country for the next five days. Daily evaporation rains through Indonesia, Papua New Guinea. Overlooking Australia, Watch for this large, quick moving and packing a lot of winds, low pressure system to affect all of Southern Australia this week. And then New Zealand as well in the long range forecast. New Zealand, you've got one, two low pressure systems to deal with this week. Overlooking the Pacific, pretty big low pressure center hanging around the Aleutian Islands right now, and many surface level lows, which I've been talking about recently, 
They just seem to be ramping up, joining forces. Tight, big, low-pressure system here heading into uh, northeast Pacific, into BC in the long range, and then overlooking Hawaii. No real moisture until Hilda and Tropical Storm Number 9 get a little bit closer. If anything, I think Tropical Storm Hilda will be affecting Hawaii, not Tropical Storm 9. Overlooking South America, no major weather developments to talk about except for heavy snow and cold temperatures through uh, Peru and as well northern Chile. Overlooking South Africa, no major weather systems affecting you this week. Looks like the low pressure systems have made it off the continent. Overlooking the Atlantic, still no tropical storms developing just yet. Interesting summer, to say the least, so far. I was expecting a much stronger hurricane season. I'll take it. Thanks, everybody, for watching today. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the large, vigorous low in the southern hemisphere, and as well, the multiple lows spinning around Greenland in the north. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.